Pussy used to be a shame. Why the fuck a nigga hate on me? Never did nothing to him. Had money way before the rap, now I 50 grand up in jury. Got a dip, but for what though? Everything you doing, I done did it. Baton Rouge, my city. On the early morning of September 10th, 2017, on the 1900 block of Dallas Drive, at 1.30 a.m., tragedy struck Baton Rouge. Before the certain murder of G-Money, many residents of Baton Rouge had stated that G-Money was on his way to the top. Baton Rouge has maintained a deep hip-hop talent pool for two decades, but the city has not broken through the mainstream in comparison to New Orleans. Many of the city's biggest names can be traced back to Webby and Boosie Badass. After Boosie and Lil Webby linked up with Trill Entertainment, Baton Rouge did numbers. But many were tetrified of being shot and killed as Baton Rouge's murder rate was high and rappers wondered would they be murdered before signing their first record deal. G Money, unlike most rappers in the city, actually built a network of loyal fans of his music. But like all others, the street life gravitated above his rap career. In the midst of success, as an artist, like most gangster rappers, can't just leave their street ties and their lyrics are counterintuitive to their success. They go hand in hand. In Chicago, most murders involve some sort of diss, gang ties, or disrespect to the opposition. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, sees its own crime stories, just as Chirac. To make a believer out of a legend, one must first make a legend out of a believer. G Money, as an artist, had become their crime legend and now their crime story. From Chirac to Baton Rouge to Docu, a crime legend's final hours. There are no shortage of killers when it comes to murder for clout and murder for hire. Depot on the beat. When G Money was alive, he touched a lot of people through his music and day one talent as an artist in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My little partner caught a murder charge, bonded out, and started robbing. Hell no. RIP, the real G Money, man. I miss you, boy. I love you, G. Rest up, my G. Long live G Money. 10th Street, we be out there, and you already know. Hashtag Long Live G Money. Hey, G Money, what's up with you and hey, young boy? I thought y'all was cool. Well shit, we was, but you know how motherfuckers get When they start popping, they start acting like they tough And they really not NBA young boy used to sleep on my couch He looked at me as a big homie Now he got some fame, he wanna act out I don't know, but I slept with his sister And he ain't like that, so maybe sister swallowed So I never kissed her, but I low-key rocked with her So I never dissed her 
I could never kill NBA young boy. He should run the song. I can't kill him. I'ma let dude live. You heard me? As G Money went at NBA young boy, other fans of NBA clapped back after the death of G Money. G Money was running off on plugs, riding around with hitters. I like his music, but honestly, I saw it coming. G Money was a savage who lived that life and was clapped because his killers killed killers. He was trying to stick up some runners in between Lafayette and Baton Rouge. The dude he was with and G Money was hit when they shot. The other guy dipped to Houston and died there. The two guys that tried to rob are okay and are free on self defense. But the third dude who set it up dipped to Houston to avoid that conspiracy charge. What that is you listening to in that bubble? Talking about they ain't with it, they can't hang with the gang. Cut that shit off, man. What that is? Who that is? Oh, BTY on there? Oh, salute to BTY, man. Beat that fuck, but that was here, man. Most of these niggas scared of a nigga, man. You see a nigga, you put your own nigga. And I can be by myself, and you can be with a thousand niggas, man. Yeah, for real, nigga. Yeah, nigga. If you ain't with us, you can't hang with my gang. And that's on guard, nigga. Ain't, ain't no banging with the gang, nigga. Yeah. Nigga don't pay attention to that shit, though. Like a nigga don't pay attention to that shit. Boy, a nigga pay attention to everything. This shit you niggas do don't impress me, man. You hear me? I know real money, man. Shit you niggas do don't impress me, man. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Copycat ass nigga. You the next the shit you see me do, you wanna do, but you supposed to be up though. You saying dick what you on? What you on? Like me or something like fuck that rap shit. What you on? I'm saying like what you what you got something against me? Say that damn man, don't 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 be on Instagram think we in two different states. You know the real. Stop playing. Hot fucking nigga, I'm about to be to my enemies, but I'm watching my friends too. I'm paranoid. Can't let a nigga take me out. So I ride with that pistol. One day I make a route. And mama crying tears, cause her baby boy thug. And learned the game from Cleasing Five, but I'm a natural boy hustler. And niggas play you close so they can get up in your business. They ride to see you down, there's too much hatred in my city. I ride with that clock, can't let them take me in my city. Flash out and crash, I release the shots from the extension. Bury me in a casket full of money with my bang of tongue. Niggas say he gon' kill me, he must be smoking. No angel does it, still join the gang, but I can't let him lame. Hang with us and get some fame from us. We dangerous, so you can't bang with us. It's all or nothing. If I don't make it rap and I'm trapping, I gotta see a meal. Niggas sell they soul, we independent, I don't need a deal. Might hit up blood to let you know how to read the feel. I send my youngin' on the mission where your people live. Holds the exact. You're an enemy or you're a friend. Making it out the project is both a physical form and a mental state. Just because you can financially make moves away from ghetto neighborhoods does not free your mind of the dark energy that has manifested itself amongst you over years of destitute. When the camera stop rolling, you are who you are. G Money made good music, but the life he lived when the camera stop rolling is what caused his demise. A lot of negative energy came in from social media, which is why he spent so much time defending himself for NBA Youngboy. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Romans 12 2, King James. Look, NBA Youngboy just don't like me. All this woofing he doing on social media and NBA, you know you not like that. You done got you this little deal and now you done turned into a killer. When you start doing all that, man, you not a killer. Stop playing, you heard me? out here. Pull up any time, NBA. Say, Louie, yeah, yeah, you know you ain't living like that, man. You done got you a deal, 
and now you done turned into a killer? When they start doing all that, man, you know you ain't cut like that. TPG being your muscle, boy. Them niggas ran you out of New in the city, man. Yeah, you remember? We was out there. You heard me? Real talk. You know what's happening with us, you heard me? And I'm living out here. Everything you got with a deal, I got without a deal, man. Thirty thousand on my neck with no deal, you heard me? Drive a hundred thousand dollar coupes and shit, man. Yeah, with no deal, boy. You better stop playing and stay in your place, son. Goofy yeah. dude. And they tried to snatch your chain, man. I just left from there, man. They ain't try to snatch mine. Nobody respects you, homie. Clown ass rappers and Baton Rouge be hating anyway, you heard me? They don't be sticking together out here, man. When you hot, you ain't got to do this and do that, or do that and say this. Yeah, it's hard to point the finger when you live in a life of sin, too. I'ma bring my partners with me whether I lose or win, you heard me? And I'm not lying. I'm respected out here, you heard me? I pulled up out there with a 38 when the whole nigga had a chopper trying to save a weak ass nigga, Mike. But I ain't gonna say too much, you heard me? G Money went on the defense as rival enemies such as NBA Youngboy continued to clap back at G Money over beef that truly started over an exchange of words and disrespect over young boy's sister being insulted in the song industry by G-Money. G-Money had enough over what he called social media gangsters. He expressed they're not gonna pull up, they just gonna log on and play tough, but they really not. He expressed he knew the real NBA and the real him wasn't about that. There are boundaries that even the hardest gangster must live by. And that's remain a real nigga till you die. Do not cross that line. You heard me? If you're not a real goon, you're not official. Even the little ones know I'm a street dude who can rap. I'm not a rapper who became a street dude. And G Money also stated, Look, NBA young boy, remember you was beefing with them hitters, man. I came up with the 38 when they had the choppers. I didn't back down. I ain't no scary gangster, man. Also stated, people want you dead, and I protected you. Now you wanna bite the hand that had your back? Your ass ran off that stove. You know what it is, you heard me? I'm full now. And G Money also stated, look, I screwed his sister, and now he wants to come at me with some nonsense. But real killers know not to try me. You heard me? And G-Money also stated, You better be ready to pop out. You better be ready to hold that same energy when you was dissing me on the ground. Cause when I see you, man, I'm gonna check your temperature, you heard me? NBA Youngboy and G-Money didn't really like each other, but the music they produced continued to reach millions 
across the world. As NBA and G Money improved, so did their fan base, and the sudden growth sparked more hatred for each other. NBA Youngboy told his fans, I keep a gun when I be riding, and if a nigga try me, it's gonna be a homicide. My dudes go against the grain when they know I'm on top. They claiming they want war, but they money low. This can't be war if you broke. How that work? My little homie go to work every day. He don't bother nobody, but he just caught a bullet. I swear to my soul, whoever shot him gonna die. We all threw Baton Rouge, ride him with them choppers. And when I see him, I'm gonna pop him. So if you love him, you better hide him. Body at the body, ain't no help in my city. Caught him slipping, blew his brains out, and nobody saying who did it. Water around town, dude said I'ma get it. Some dude told Kadeja that they gonna put one in my fitting. We don't squash beef, we end it, NBA. G-Money showed NBA the same amount of love he had for him. None. Zero. They did not rock with each other. On Instagram, they were having a field day dissing each other's street status and gang affiliation. Fans were instigating or going on each other's lives and stating what the other had said. Dudes out here running their mouth. All my hitters 100, you hear me? If you lie about that, you gonna die about that. Real spiff. Your favorite rapper and a hitter. We pull up on you and get that business handled real quick. On TBG, if I'm lying for, I'm dying five. We got a gun for every dude you bring. If you really in the trenches, come see about me, man. Come holler at me, you hear me?